22.17 gram silver palladium platinum alloy. Palladium DMG2 complex from part 1 is transferred from the filter funnel to a beaker. The washing water was decanted and saved for later treatment. Hydrogen chloride, hydrogen peroxide and nitric acid were added to the sponge. The beaker was then heated. I didn't manage to dissolve all of the paste, so I've decided to filter whatever I've dissolved and calcine the rest. The filtrate PDCL42 was treated with sodium carbonate and ascorbic acid.
The beaker is placed on a hot plate. The additions of sodium carbonate and vitamin C continues until the black solution becomes transparent and black sediment forms. Solution is decanted and the black powder is boiled a couple of times with distilled water. In the meantime the undissolved paste was acidified with hydrogen chloride and filtered. Washing waters were saved for later treatment. To the acidified filtrate were added zinc shavings. The palladium is moved to a small beaker to be dried. Palladium DMG cake is vacuum dried.
The cake is calcined. Last washes of PD powder obtained with the scorbic acid. Beaker on the left contains combined and acidified washing waters to which were added zinc shavings. The metal sponge from the calcining is boiled in hydrogen chloride. The resulting solution is added to the combined washing waters for cementation of any values present with zinc. Drying of both wash metal sponge and palladium black powder.
the weight of the palladium sponge after washing in hydrogen chloride. the weight of combined sponge and powder never done it before The missing 0.2 to 0.25 grams should be recovered from the washing waters. The recovery will be covered in the next videos. <laughs> 